Get a grip. Well, if you're talking about tree bark, some birds can and others can't get a grip. We feed the birds bark butter in winter and pretty much everybody but the finches loves it. So much so that if they're part of the unfortunate can't get a grip group, they try anyway, often with comical results. But why the difference? Why is it that some birds can tap dance all over a tree trunk while others slip and slide on that bark like they just put on their first pair of ice skates? Well, the difference is that the tap dancing tree huggers have specialized legs and feet so that they can hug the bark at the very same moment as they herky-jerk all over that tree looking for beetle larvae, which are the only bugs available in winter, and the larvae are found, guess where? The tree huggers want meat, and they're good at finding it. I am saving for part two of this series the rest of what I want to tell you about the way the bark-gripping birds can hustle around on El Capitan. In defense of the skating rink doofuses, of course they're going to flounder. They don't have those specialized feet. They're not used to getting meat in the winter or hanging around on any part of a tree except a horizontal perch. So scrounging for bark butter is a challenge. Now once in a while they succeed at getting a grip, but even if they do, they risk losing their balance if they dare look over their shoulders for predators the way this Carolina wren obviously can. More often than not, they don't even light, opting instead to let their feet dangle uselessly while they literally grab a bite to eat. But hey, like kudos for even being able to grab a bite while they're flopping around in the air. It's kind of like bobbing for apples. The screw-ups at the skating rink just have the wrong equipment. What they need in this situation are short legs and size 20 feet. What they've got, though, are long legs and delicate feet. Cardinals and sparrows, seed eaters that they are, typically hop around on the ground, and they can't afford to be stumbling over the clown shoes those tree huggers sport. No, their toes and claws are shorter, but more important, they are flat, capable of pushing off strong. The way these birds hot-foot it, their feet pound the ground like little jackhammers. They can move so fast that the hops are uncountable, like the vibrations in a tongue trill. So, klutzy on trees? Guilty. But on the ground, just call them mini roadrunners. A downy or a nuthatch that tried to match them would look like it just put on its first pair of ice skates. <laughs>